Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, welcome if you're new. Um, this is Budgeting with Nurse Nay, and my name is Danae. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, my budget with me paycheck, the last paycheck of June, which is a couple days in July, but I'm considering the last paycheck of June. So if that interests you, then stay tuned. Okay. Um, so yeah, kind of a little setup here. I just got my flower here that you've seen in my other videos. I love this thing. It's beautiful. And then I've got my birthday cake candle. So it smells wonderful. It's making me hungry. Um, so this is my June spreadsheet here. I did not do an expense video again this week. I'm trying to figure out how to do it right. So maybe in July you guys will see the expense video. Um, so I'm just going to go right into... These are my expenses. My expenses, see. <laughs> um, so I do keep track of them, my weekly expenses. Um, but I just wanted to get right into the budgeting part. Okay. So, and I already wrote it down for you guys, so it's easier for you guys to just. It'll go quicker. It won't be so long of a video because me writing it down takes a while. So, zoom you guys in here so you can see the numbers. Okay. So this is my paycheck for July 3rd, um, which is Friday, or wait, actually it would be July 2nd, sorry, I wrote the wrong number down. <laughs> See the guys, this way I have a erasable pen. So it's July 2nd, and I'm budgeting $1,000 out of this paycheck, that's not my whole paycheck, I'm leaving some in the bank to hopefully pay for my car. I'm not sure if it's going to be, I'm going to be getting it this week. I'm still in the air. Uh, it's kind of a mess. If you know, been watching my videos, you know the issues with my car. So I'm budgeting a thousand dollars. I'm only going to be stuffing my wallet, uh, my everyday cash expenses and my savings challenges. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So up here, Here's my paycheck for a thousand. Um, my personal envelope is nay. Just scratch that out. It's not bills. These are my cash wallet uh, envelopes. My nay, my personal envelope is going to be getting a hundred dollars as usual. My gas is only going to be getting a hundred dollars. I am still driving my dad's truck um, for now, but I actually saved fifty dollars uh, this past week from spending in gas because he uses Kroger points for his gas, so he gets a lot of cents off for gas so he wanted to fill up um, my mom's car and the truck too to kind of get like it's almost like 90 cents off a gallon so we did that so I uh, he was gracious enough to pay for it I offered to pay for it but he, he paid for it for me so that was really nice so I have $50 left over for that so I will have 150 um, but I'm just going to be using the $100 out of this paycheck groceries getting 100 as usual um, my household is getting $20 Dining out is getting 40. Uh, miscellaneous is getting 20, and my car is gonna get 20. That's for car washes or little car things that I need throughout the week. Um, or fresheners, air fresheners, whatnot. Now I added a new envelope. I don't know if you guys watched my happy mail video, but I got a coup I won a three envelopes. Um, and I'll link her below. I, I forgot her name. I am bad at names, you guys. Um, but it's a couponing envelope, so I've been doing couponing um, mainly with Dollar General. I'm trying to get into CVS and Walgreens, but it's a little more complicated for that. So I'm doing Dollar General couponing, and I just allocated $40. I'm probably not even going to need close to that, but I allocated that so that I have it for couponing. Usually I can do it under the under $20. I can do like two or three transactions for under $20 or under $30. So um, yeah, so I just allocated $40 just so I have enough. And down here below... It's four hundred forty dollars for the week. Um, so one thousand minus four forty is five sixty. No um, sinking funds this week. Hopefully next week I will be st stuffing my sinking funds, you guys, because this car thing will be taken care of. It's been a month. I know it's so irritating. Um, okay, so I just take five sixty, bring it up here, and then for my two K challenge, I pick the number twenty nine. I'm picking a low number, trying to keep the Challenge is down now. I'm running out of low numbers, though, so I'm going stuff to stuff to start stuffing high numbers. Um, but hopefully I'll have the money once this car is fixed and I won't have any more car issues for a while. <laughs> um, so the 2.5K challenge, I'm stuffing $35. I picked the number 35. And the 3K challenge had a number 29, so I'm stuffing $29 on that. So for my June temperature challenge, um, I explain it in all my videos. If you don't know what that is, um, it's the temperature, so I look up the weather, 
And if for that day, the weather has a number seven in it, like 87 or 67 or 74, if it has the number seven in it, I put $10 in the envelope for that day. So I had four days that had the number, actually I had three days that had number seven in it, but one day was 77, so I counted that as two. So that was a $20 day. So $40 total. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and my June no spend challenge, I'm doing a no spend challenge this month. So for every day I do not spend like my weekly expenses, like for my cash envelopes, um, obviously bills that have to be paid, that doesn't count. But for anything just spending that I want to spend or gas or groceries or food out to eat, whatever, household stuff, um, whatever day I don't spend, I put $10 in an envelope. I had three no spends day this week, so I put $30 allocated to that. My June rain or sleet challenge, it has not sleeted, sleeted, sleet. I just had this problem last time. No sleet in the month of June, let's put it that way. <laughs> um, so just rain, but it rained like four days this week, you guys. I couldn't believe it, it was just rain, 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 rain. Um, if you haven't heard, Michigan um, had a few of our freeways, 94 and Southfield were flooded under the Vidocs, and I think 94 has been flooded now for about four or five days. The drain system's not working under one of the Vidocs, so yeah, there were cars that were stuck in it. It was a whole mess, so we had flash floods, and it was it was pretty bad. Um, so anyways, it rained four days, so I put $40 towards that. My summer cooler challenge, um, if you don't know what that is, I will show you when I'm my stuffing video. Um, I allocated $20 to that because I only have two numbers left here. I already took them out, uh, so I knew what they were ahead of time, and it's a $5 and a $15. And if you know, uh, you've watched my other videos, you know that these numbers allocate a certain dollar amount in the cooler, so I'll show you that in my stuffing video, but these were the last two. So that was $20. Uh, my summer solstice challenge. Now I said if I could do it, the last week I was going to put 50 in. Usually I put 30 in. Um, I'm allocating 50 towards that for this week, so I'm excited for that. Uh, jump into June, which I call the sunglasses challenge. Um, I'm putting $20 in that, which is what I've been putting in every week. And then my June $2 a day challenge, which I'm timesing by two, ends up being $28 a week. So all these challenges right here total up to $321. 321 minus 560 is 239. So I bring my 239 down here. You see that? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I had to make a couple arrangements here, and I left some open if I was going to stuff sinking funds, but I'm not this time. Um, so my Opoly challenges, uh, if you know, I do three Opoly challenges, uh, Vacay Opoly, Save Opoly, and House Opoly. So I allocated $194 to that. I added a little bit more ones on that because I used all my ones last week. So, um, And then my 100 envelope challenge, I put that here. I am stuffing number 21 and 24, which is my smallest numbers that I have so far in the envelope challenge. Um, so we're going to start stuffing big numbers in that too. So hopefully I can the next few months stuff, stuff some big numbers here. I won't have any crazy expenses, but I'm saving that emergency fund, so it'll be up there too if I do have emergencies like this happen again. Okay, so the 100 envelope challenge, 21 and 24 is 45 altogether, so that equals 239, so my leftover is zero, so that's $1,000 budgeted. So if I flip over here, this is how I allocate my bills. Um, oh, I gotta erase this. This is what, see, this happens, guys. This is why I use erasable pens. I love these erasable pens. They're fantastic. Okay, um, so this is for the 2nd of July. Um, I put how much, my envelope, how much it is, and I allocate which denomination bill I would like. And I just put how many I want down here. I add them all up, added the totals up, see the totals of them, and then make sure that adds that up, balance it up to $1,000, make sure that all counts as $1,000. And then down here, I put uh, my coins. I'll show you my coin jar, where I start and where I end. And then plus I have my penny log cabin you guys have seen. If you haven't seen, watch my videos. It's pretty cute. Um, but I have pennies in there, and I haven't counted that yet. So when that gets full, I will count that. And then I just put my total here. So, yeah, this was a pretty quick um, budget with me video. I just wanted to show you my nails. I got my nails done yesterday. I love them. They're so bright and cute since we're going on vacation for the beach. I almost got July 4th nails, but I figured that was going to be over in a few days, so I got the beach ones because I figured those they're more summery, and I got my toes to match, too. She did a good job on my flowers. I showed her a picture, and she did pretty much exactly that, so yeah, I love them. Um, okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. If you've watched the whole video, please leave a pink heart in the um, comments below. Please like 
and share my video if you can. Definitely comment. I always um, read your comments. I always reply to your comments if I can. Some YouTube's been deleting some of them. I'm not sure why. So if I don't respond to you, don't think I'm ignoring you. I just, they delete it. I go to click on it, comment, and it's deleted. So I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but also subscribe, guys. Subscribe to my channel. Watch the whole videos. That helps my channel out a lot. And I appreciate you watching. And stay tuned for my cash-loving video tomorrow. Bye, guys.